Did you find the error? The funny thing is that the whole derivation is correct if we would restrict to x larger than or equal to zero. Indeed, in that case, the square root of x squared is equal to x. But this is not true for negative x. So, what went wrong? Well, if x is negative, the rules of calculations of power functions lead to problems, or are simply not true in general. Ok, I'll admit, as long as the exponents are positive integers, there is no problem. But especially for fractional exponents, you must be cautious. You can see this in our derivation. In this step, we split the product. And here a problem arises if x is negative. The expressions after this step is not defined for negative x. After the next step, the expressions again are defined for the negative x. But we made an illegal move in the middle, and this actually caused the problems. In general, if you want to be on the safe side, only apply the rules of calculations for the power functions if the arguments are positive or the exponents are integer.